with I do not know as much as many. Sure. Banjo is a, you can go deep. Is it an inscrutable, it seems like an inscrutable instrument. I suppose so, and and from the outside. um, You can get (laughs) levels of peeling the onion back. Sure. um, Yeah, I started playing banjo when I was a little kid in in Texas. Okay. Uh, My dad was a big bluegrass music aficionado and was in bands and stuff. He played the dobro. Do you know what that is? No, what is that? Dobro is actually, I guess, a... Uh, what's it called? A brand name. Okay. For a resophonic guitar. Which okay. Which is a guitar that has like a, a metal cone basically built inside it to, to help amplify the sound. This is yeah. before microphones. And a lot of people play them flat, or I guess a dobro is played flat. The the strings like, are raised like off the fret. Like a steel guitar? Like a steel guitar, yeah. Like an acoustic steel guitar kind of. But and dobro was a brand name that Gibson had oh. at one point. Based and on the, the people who made it were the Dobera Brothers. So okay. Dobro, Do Brothers. Um, but it is not a steel guitar. It's not a steel guitar. Okay. It is and an I don't acoustic know much about guitar steel guitars. It's an acoustic slide guitar, yeah. Resophonic. And so you decided <clears throat> to start playing the banjo. So yeah, so I was going around to bluegrass stuff all my life. You know, we went to bluegrass festivals as a as a kid and cool. dad was in bands and, and for me the banjo. Who are the was famous the banjos one. players of the world? Oh my god. Are there? Um, well, Steve oh, Martin, yeah. I suppose. Steve Martin is fairly famous. <laughs> For not other for things, although not for you know banjo. now, uh, who, let's see, uh, Earl Scruggs would be the most famous banjo. Have you heard his name? I have heard the name yes. Earl Scruggs. Yeah, Earl so. Scruggs even has like the Earl the Scruggs style, which is a three finger picking style as opposed to claw hammer or frailing, which is like a sort of a mountain style that's okay. more rhythmic, less less melodic, I guess. So Earl Scruggs more of a pick, <clears throat> and then other people three more picks. of a strum. Pick on his thumb and his index and middle finger. Oh, so he's okay. got these three fingers going like a little... Oh, wow. Yeah. And so that that was sort of the breakthrough. He played with the, the Bill Monroe. That's where Bluegrass comes from. The Bill Monroe uh, band was called the Bluegrass Boys. In and when the, was that? Uh, mid-40s. Right after the war, I think, is when it kind okay. of... Okay. Kind of popped? Hit big, yeah. Okay. And it was when Scruggs came into his band. Before that, he had a, another guy, I think. Oh, somebody's going to correct me on this. I think it was String Bean... Okay. Um, Aikman. But was someone playing. should be named String Bean yeah. if they are not. And he was playing a claw hammer style, and then Scruggs came What's in. What's a claw hammer look like? A claw hammer, you kind of hold your hand like this. In a claw. And you, yeah, and you go down the strings with the back of your middle finger. Oh, nail. it's like a, more of a strum? Yeah, but then you land with your thumb and you pluck up. So, dung, chicka, dung, chicka, dung, chicka, dung, chicka, dung. Kind of oh, a wow. dumb, bum, diddy. Yeah, yeah. Thing. You, what you would do, hear it. I should have brought a banjo. Who's in a bluegrass, uh, who's in a bluegrass band? What, what instruments? Yeah, well, it's traditionally, mm-hmm. and this is the trick because bluegrass is, means a thousand different things to different. Traditionally, it's guitar, more of a rhythm guitar sort of right. thing. Mandolin, that's what Bill Monroe played. Okay. Uh, and then there's fiddle, and then oh. there's banjo, right. and upright bass. And then the sixth sort of variable is the dobro. Okay. Which kind of came in. Josh Graves was kind of the first big dobro player in the stand up bass, Monroe. banjo, banjo, regular guitar. Guitar, yep, acoustic. And then what am I missing? Uh, mandolin. Oh, the mandolin fiddle. and the fiddle. Yeah. And then and and then and then maybe a dobro. The dobro would be the the next al- alternative, and after that maybe harmonica. Though and purists then, would not consider harmonica a, a bluegrass instrument. Really? Yeah. So, or at least not not an original bluegrass. Not, yeah, not yeah. in the five. Right. Piece. So. Uh, now, so it started with Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. Yep. In the mid '40s, I want to say. 46, and they called themselves maybe. the Bluegrass Boys probably because they were from. Kentucky, yeah, that the makes sense. State. Yeah. Yep. So and then he was sort of notorious for being a, a kind of a domineering, <laughs> maybe an asshole. The pushiest. <laughs> yeah. The, the pushiest so, Bluegrass So he would guy push has. people out of the band, and okay. so for instance, Lester Flat used to be the guitar player in his band, and so Flat and Scruggs went off and started their own band. Okay. And so like from that one band sprung a bunch of bands because he was kicking members out and rotating. <laughs> right. And so they he went on creating. and did their own thing.